what is going on people tune in again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when i post my tutorials today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this poster that i've tagged joseph with photoshop and without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial Okay, so here we are now in Photoshop. So I'm going to create a new document now. I'm going to click on File and I'll select New. So for this project, I'm going to use um, 720 by 900. So I'll make my resolution 120 and I'm going to call this Joseph. Then I'll click, click on the Create button. Right, then the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in the picture of Joseph. So I'm just going to go to the exercise files. I'm going to drag that and go here, like so. Then I'm going to scale this bit. Then I'll bring in the picture of the background. I'm going to make this black and white and I'll go to the curve adjustment and I'm just going to move this down to about um, this point and then I'll add color lookup um, night from day all right and I'll go move this behind all the layers just like so I'm going to select the um, layer mask of the Hub layer and I'll select the brush tool, click the size of my brush. I'm just going to take out some out of the curve from the layer. So I'm just going to move my flow down to 16 and I'm just going to brush. I'm going to double click on this. So I'll drag this down just like so. And I'm going to make a new layer. Trying to create the light effect coming from this side of the project. I'll create a new layer. I'll call this lights. I'll change this to white. Then I'm gonna hold on all backspace to fill the color of my foreground to the layer. And I'll click on filter blur and select Gaussian blur. Just going to this out like so. Okay. And I'll use the free transform to stretch this. Alright. And I'll come here and rotate it just like so. Come here and move it somewhere around here. Okay. Then I'll go to the opacity of the light layer and just push it down. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a light effect layer. So I'm gonna hit Alt and click to create a new layer, and I'm gonna call this lights. And uh, for this, I'm going to change this to color dodge and check the fill with color dodge neutral color 50% gray option here. And I'm just, just going to say that okay. Then I'm going to change the color of this to something more yellow. So, select okay. Just select the brush tool. I'm just going to brush this side just to add more light to the uh, scene. So you, as you can see, you notice that our light is now beginning to look more real. Okay, so I'm just going to put this there, put this here. So I'm going to call this Joseph. Okay, so I'm going to go to the adjustment panel here. And I'm going to click on this icon to apply to just only that layer. And I'm going to move this down. Okay, so I'll click on the layer and I'll select the black and white option here. And I'll change my blend mode to soft lights. All right. And I'm going to move the, the red down to minus four and increase the yellow to, you know, to add more highlights to the layer of Joseph. So I'm just going to move this. See, when you overdo it, the exposure is going to look too strong. So I don't want something too strong. I'm just going to stop about here. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a solid layer. So I'll come here from solid color 
and I'm going to make sure I'm still on the same color that I used previously and I'm going to select OK. So the, what I'm going to do now is to blend if the solid color layer to the same. So I'm just going to double click on this to bring out the blend if option. So I'm going to move from here down and I'm going to hold on Alt just to smooth the um, blend if effect. So I'm going to hold on Alt and click. Move this to the side. Move this to the side. I'm going to reduce the opacity just a little bit, right? And then select OK. So as you can see, we are having some issue here. So I'm going to take out the solid layer from the light effect behind Joseph. So I'm going to select the brush tool and make sure this is set to black. I'm going to make my flow 16 the way it is, and I'm just going to take out the light effect. Like so I'm going to add some light effect on Joseph. So I'll go to the solid color option again. Okay, and I'm going to change this to white. And um, for the layer mask of the solid layer, I'm going to hit Ctrl I to inverse it because I don't want it to affect the entire project. So I'm just going to zoom in at this point and I'm going to select the brush tool. Okay, and I'll go to the brush settings. I'll choose soft hand brush. So I'm just going to check the transfer option here and make sure my flow is something around the 25. Because I'm going to create a quiz selection of um, the Joseph layer. So I'm going to hold down Control and click to create a marquee of that layer. And I'm going to hit Control H to hide the marquee selection. I'm going to switch this to white. And I'll apply the white solid layer to the project like so. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to hit the Ctrl H to bring out the Marquis selection again. And now, so I'm going to select Modify and select Expand. And I'm going to make it just one and I'll select OK. So now the reason why I'm doing this is I don't want to have that sharp edges when I'm applying the white solid layer to the project. So I'm going to hit the Ctrl H again. And this time I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to just apply the white. Same like so. So what I'm going to do now is to add more depth to the layer of um, Joseph. So I'm going to hit the Control D to deselect the Marquis selection, and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to change this to Soft Light. I'll call this Burn. Now check the fill with soft light neutral color option here and I'm going to select OK. Then I'll go to the bond tool here and I'm going to zoom in, reduce the size of my brush and I'm just going to add more depth to the scene like so. Put here, here. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new layer because I need to darken this part of the project. So I'm just going to create a new layer. I'll call this black. I'm just going to hit OK now and switch this to something around here. I'm just going to pick a color from this part of the scene and that's like OK. So let the brush to put the size of the brush like so. Right, turn up the spot option here, and I'm just gonna brush just to make this part more darker. Click again, and I'll call this black. This time I will use something more darker. I'm just going to push. All right. Then I need to brighten this a little bit. So I'm going to set the brightness. So I'm going to push this just a little bit. Like so. Okay. And the next thing I'll do again is to add color lookup. So I'm going to click here and add edgy amber. 
So the next thing I'm doing again is to add light effect to the body of Joseph. So I'm just going to create a new solid layer. Um, this should be white. Select the layer mask of the solid layer and I'm going to select Ctrl I on my keyboard to impress the selection. And this time I'm going to zoom in again and I'm going to check the pen pressure option here. Reduce the size of my brush. Make flow 60. I'll create a marquee of the layer again and I'm going to go to select and I'll select modify and select expand and I'm going to select OK. Then I'm going to hit the Ctrl H on my keyboard to make sure that your foreground is set to white. So I'm going to use the soft round brush and reduce my flow to um, 24 and I'm just going to brush like so. Right, so I need to go back to the very first solid layer we created, which is this, and just add more hair back to the scene like so. So I'm going to turn it off, that's the size of this, take it away, and I'm just going to add So I need to increase the brightness of this a little bit. So I'm going to come here and double click on this to just, just bright this a little bit more. Just like so. So then the next thing I'll do is to go to my FSR file and add the branch image to the project like so. Take this. Turn the blend mode to soft light and I'm going to reduce the opacity as like so. Okay, um, I think I just need to add a little more brightness to this side of um, the project. I'm just going to come here and zoom in, select the brush tool, the size of my brush, and make sure this is set to white. Don't forget to create a marquee of. The layer and I'm going to hit the Ctrl H on my keyboard to hide it a little too much. I'm going to increase this to the 5, which is basically the this. So the whole idea is to make it look like there's a light effect coming from this side. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to merge visible of all the layers and take it to camera out for the color grade. So I'm just going to Ctrl Shift Alt and E the layer just like so. And I'm going to put everything in a group so as to make my layer panel neat. So I've just selected everything and I'm going to hit the Ctrl G on my keyboard. And I'm just going to call this Projects. And I'll click on the layer. I'll call this Color Grid. Just Color Grid. And I'll go to Filter. Camera Filter. I'm using Photoshop CC 2020. So I'm going to come to the basic and I'll increase the exposure just a little like so and I'm going to reduce the contrast like so. So I'm going to make the shadow 16. So I'm going to make this 16 just to increase the shadow. 
All right? And for the white, I'm going to make that, um, let's say, 24, I guess. Yeah, 24 is fine, just to increase the um, white effect on the uh, project, like so. And for the clarity, uh, I'm going to just move that to, um, let's say, 9 is fine to boost the contrast of the pixels. Yeah, so for the curve, I'm just going to move this down from this point and push this up like so, just to add more depth to it. So we're going straight to the details. So I'm going to increase the sharpen just like so, all right? For the effects, I'm going to add more grain to this. So I'm going to add noise. I'll push this up to about this point to add noise to it. And I'm going to just select OK. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add my text. All right. So if you want to learn how to make the 3D title, the link is right here on the screen for you to click on so you can watch the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, guys. If you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you'll be notified when I post my videos. I'll see you guys again in my next tutorial. Peace.